Good morning, it's Margaret Fetty at the University of Sewing and it's Facebook Live. So Pat's here with me today. Thank you for joining me. And, and notice, ladies, the beautiful top that Pat is wearing. She made this from fabric here at the shop. Yes, I and did. And this is that wonderful rayon. Mm -hmm. And so have you enjoyed, was I it hard to work with? It wasn't hard to work with at all. And the best thing, it washes and dries and wears wonderful. Isn't it? And it's we really, have lots of colors. Yes, yes. And we're hopefully going to get some more. I've been waiting for them to send me more for a while here. And I don't know what the story is. So I'll have to call them again next week and find out where it's at. So hopefully we will get some more. Okay, everybody, today I brought two nice little giveaways for our Facebook Live giveaway. If you have joined us before, you probably know what to do, but for hopefully some new people who are joining us, we give something away every Facebook Live. And today we have a wonderful quilt pattern. It's called Tempers mm -hmm. and you can use, this is a really good one to use with panels or you know big picture kind of things that go across. But you know what? It's a very nice, pattern for a lot of other things too. So hopefully you will have something that you will want to use this with. The other thing we are giving you is the, I'm trying to write, the winter version of the Threads Magazine this past winter's, and it is a very nice issue. You will really enjoy getting this. You get both of these things. So if you're a quilter, the pattern, if you are a want-to-be clothing sewer, a clothing sewer, or you do other things, there is so many fun things in Threads Magazine. If you have not subscribed to it yet, I would highly recommend it. I agree with that completely. I have my subscription, oh, and I good. love it. Yes, it's There's a so great information. And if you just want to try it out, if you aren't the winner, and you want to try out Threads Magazine, just go ahead onto, I believe if you go onto our website at universityofsewing.com, you can just purchase it that way, and we'll give you the latest edition. But, if for some reason I'm wrong and it's not available online, just give us a quick call. We'll pop it into the mail for you. I think you will really enjoy it. So it's really nice, really nice magazine. So are you gonna tell them what they need to do if they're new people? I forgot. <gasps> By the way, <laughs> if you are new viewing us today, we would like you to share so your friends and families can see us. And during that 24 hour period that this is airing, we, at, we will put your name as long as you put shared in the comments so we know because there are just some privacy issues that we don't know that you shared so put shared in the comments after you shared and then we will notify you via facebook or, or a phone call yeah. or the biggest thing is you can come in afterwards after we've notified you and visit with us and receive these but we will also mail them to you just let us know Okay, everybody. You mean like Kathy and Suzanne and Kathy oh. <laughs> have already shared? <laughs> Love you guys. Hey, you know, the thing about it is, is that we have to limit it, the time frame. So it's only for 24 hours that you have after we have made this live video. So if you haven't done it yet, if you haven't shared it with your friends yet, please do that. It's how we get new customers, how we end up needing new people. We get customers from all over the country. It's really fun. Um, I, in the last week, we've sent to Washington, we've sent to Florida, to Texas. I can't tell you how much fun that is to have that happen. So we have a number of things we want to cover with you today, and you might notice we're in a different part of the shop. We're actually in our classroom. And so what we're going to show off today is I want you to see, this is some of that beautiful cotton tilde fabric that I made up into a shirt. And then beside it is a gorgeous jacket. And guess what? Yesterday was this lovely jacket was part of a class. Alice taught a class on this and I have not seen this many happy customers in a long time. Everybody who was in this class just had a wonderful time. Also, if you haven't been following Rachel Burke's uh, posts, she's our one of our employees and you've seen her on Facebook Live with me before, but she was in the class and she made a jacket for herself and it came out really cute. So keep an eye out for those posts. So, um, so just information for you that you may be wondering about. 
yesterday was our first day to start entering the 990 purchasers information into the Bernina system. They hopefully will be getting an email pretty soon from Bernina. I'm looking for mine. So <laughs> I I will be honest, I haven't gotten on my email today. My personal email, I, I go on it maybe three times a week. So I haven't gone on mine, but we have four people <gasps> who are getting the 990s. And for those of you who came out last night to our Cedar Creek Brewery event, and you were one of them. I Thank you very it much. Was nice. It was beautiful. It, it was a beautiful day. Yes, it was so evening. pretty out there. And so it, it was perfect because I always feel like a place like that when it's hot, it's kind of muggy and not so pleasant. But it was cool and beautiful and everybody enjoyed themselves. So that was really neat. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for the people who have purchased your 990. Well, okay, they put their money down. Yes. But I think once they see it, they're just going to be blown away. And we, we have just nailed this one, I think. So if you are still kind of thinking about it and you want to talk to me, it's a really easy thing to do. Just give us a call here at the shop and I will get back. I will tell you, occasionally it takes me a little bit of time to get back to you, but I'm not trying to not call you back. I just am busy. <laughs> so, we have been busy. We have been really busy here. So it's been pretty fabulous. Part of the reason that we're back here in the classroom today is because yesterday we were so busy, the doors never stopped but, and we oh. weren't even open. <laughs> Yes, I, re I recall watching that part. <laughs> yes, it was crazy. So we had that going on. All right, so let's think about here. Dave gave me a whole list of things I'm supposed to remember. Um, last week, great week for classes. We've got some great ones coming up. And I want you guys to know about what's coming up this week. So if you are part of the software yes. building blocks program that Alice has been doing, that's happening on Monday morning. Are you going to be here for that? Yes, I will be here. I love learning how to use my software. Well, I mean, you know, as much as we use computers these days, you would think that just jumping on the software should be easy breezy. There is There's so, so much, much to learn. <laughs> There's so much to learn. So, and, um, you know, we have a lot of creator software here, mm -hmm. which is a great entry way into the software so you might think about that if you haven't made a purchase of that yet that's a great way to get into it and it's not as expensive to do that as it is the full-blown version so the folks who are doing that 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 would be really a you know if you're doing embroidery you are eventually going to want some decent software isn't that true it, yes and that's the best part about it is you're cruising through and you can actually um put your fabric or put your t-shirt because that's what we did last week was t-shirt last month was t-shirts put your t-shirt in there put your design in there and going is that the way i want it and you can change the way the design is and you can change where it's out of the shirt is it going to look right with the fabric and the color of the shirt oh how fun is that i didn't know you could yeah do that. that's really <laughs> cool and you know they have a quilting design program yes. in there so that's really neat so there's a, a lot of reasons why you want to play with this stuff. Okay, those of you who own a 790 Pro, we are having a special mastery embroidery class for you. That will be also on Monday. So Alice is going to be working very She's hard. She's going to work hard all She's week. She's going to work very she? hard. No, she is, she is off oh, on that's... her vacation to visit with family here on Tuesday. Okay, Often well, Monday, Monday is going to so, be a big day yeah, for Alice. Yeah, she's got a lot to do on Monday. So, on Wednesday, we, well, Cheryl, I'm not, not telling about your beginning quilting class. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But you can't get into beginning quilting because no, it's already it's halfway already through. Happened. So, I will show her quilt here in a little bit. So, um, because we will be offering beginning quilting again in the fall and you definitely need to sign up early for this because it fills up fast. Um, okay, basic ruler work for your domestic sewing machine. If you are thinking about that for a, um, you know, you've got your 770, you've got your 570, you've got the ruler, not the ruler, yeah, yeah, ruler work, the ruler, ruler yeah. work foot, that is... Well, they're both 
the BSR and the roller work foot are side by side here. So if you've got the roller work foot and you've been wondering how to use it, and you, but you know what's really nice about this class? It doesn't have to be a Bernina. Oh, really? It's any you domestic can, sewing domestic machine. machine. So oh. if you have a domestic sewing machine, what we mean by that is you have a machine you have at home that you can carry and lift around and do so forth. It might be heavy, but you can still do that. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about the long arms. So if you want to learn how to use that ruler work foot, this is the class for you. It is on Wednesday. Make sure you sign up for that. Then we also have a stitch regulator class on Wednesday. Friday. Now, the thing with the stitch regulator is how many people do you know who have a Bernina sewing machine and they have a stitch regulator? Well, I do. I haven't gotten rid of mine. And you have a long arm, too. I have a long arm. <laughs> so I understand a lot about the stitch regulator. Okay. So we have the stitch regulator and we have the long arm people who know what that is. But a lot of you have your Bernina sewing machine. You've got a stitch regulator with it and you're going, well, I don't know how to use it and I'm kind of scared of it. This is the class for you. Denise will take you through and by the time you get done, you will feel comfortable. You will be able mm -hmm. to go home and be able to practice with it and you could do your own free motion quilting. Absolutely. How cool is that? That will be cool. Okay. Then also on Friday, we have a wonderful fun summer pinwheel table runner class. Now, I thought maybe it was here but I am not seeing it so we're not going to be able to show you a picture but there's a picture online so go look at the picture online it's very cute you will really like this it's a great fun project and you know what's cool about the table runner classes once you learn the technique you can blow that up and turn it into a baby quilt, a lap quilt, a you twin. You can make it as big as you yes, want. Yes, you can make it as big as you want. So go and take that class with Cheryl. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with that. And then on Saturday of next week, she's doing a rotary cutter bag. So when you go to classes, you can take and make a bag for all your rotary cutter supplies. How cool is that? Bags and are great. you know what? We all need one. Mm -hmm. We go to classes. We need to take this stuff with us. So come to that class so you can take care of that. The following week, we are going to be doing a Black Bobbin Mastery class. If you have not signed up for that, what we mean by Black Bobbin Mastery class is if you own a Bernina and your bobbin is black, it's one of those jumbo bobbins, this is the mastery class for you. Now, and the first that. question I have asked about this all the time is, did I have to buy my machine from you, Margaret? Well, we always love people to buy our, their machines from us. I don't want to discourage that, of course. <laughs> we definitely want you to buy them here. But if you didn't, and say you bought your, I'll tell you what the most common thing I hear is, is you bought your machine right before COVID. COVID happened and you never took it. Oh. That is so common. Yeah. So, what I would recommend to you is sign up because you do not have to have bought your machine here. The only thing you get charged with for this class is a small materials fee. And that is going to be next Wednesday, not next Wednesday, two Wednesdays from now. So, you have some time to plan. Two Wednesdays from now, May 22nd. So, we're going to be doing that. Finally, the last class we're going to be doing is intro to knits and i think i have the wrong information on here i'm pretty sure i'm teaching that so that is going to be thursday on may 23rd so if you want to learn how to use your serger to make an item of clothing great class to do this it is. now you should have taken an intro to your serger before you come to this knit you need to know how to class. use your serger you because you, you're going to have to thread it and so if you can't thread it, you're going to be, you're going to be having struggles and you don't need that on top of learning how to make an item of clothing. Mm -hmm. So what we do in our clothing classes is we do a fitting component to all of them so that they actually fit. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. So we have got some great stuff here to talk about. So I want to make sure what it, Can you get the jean jacket to show uh, off the embroidery? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So. We were talking about embroidery, guys. 
this is one of our customers and what she did recently. <laughs> we asked her if she would make us a sample and we provided the jean jacket. She provided the lovely work. She did a gorgeous job on it. And this one is from a place called Embroidery Library. And Rena, who's just an absolutely lovely customer of ours, it was so kind to do this. It was super cute. But check out the stars from OESD that she put up Ooh. in the collar. And look how perfect they came out. I can't believe how cute this is. It is adorable. It is really, really cute. So um, this apron is a, it's called the Chef's Apron. And Rachel does this class. And I know it's coming up. I don't remember the exact date. I will find it out for you guys for next week. But if you have not made this cute apron yet, everybody needs this cute apron. Oh, my gosh. You know, it is totally adorable. Plenty of spots for you to put stuff. You can make it with the little bib here or without it. And it is coming up. And it's Rachel's original pattern. So you need to come. It's really fun. Okay. So... We have some knits we're going to show you in a minute, but first I want to show you about some new batting we just got in. This batting is really cool. What is one of the really cool things about it? It's all made in the United States. Oh. The manufacturer is from Michigan. I talked to the owner on the phone. He's a super sweet guy, and he and his wife have been doing this for a number of years. The name of the company is Airlight. And I got two different kinds for us to try out. And I would love to have you guys try this out and tell me what you think about it. So, the first one is a Collie Poly Cotton Blend. And this particular batting, we have it in twin and queen sizes. And um, they're saying that you can quilt it as far as 12 inches apart. They're saying that the shrinkage is less than 1%. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It does have a scrim liner in it, which will help some of the fibers from migrating into your quilt. So you won't have puffs of, of batting showing up from your quilting. And this one is a nice thin one. So this is a really thin, like similar to what we've got with our cotton bamboo batting. Very nice. I really like I love the really thin ones. Um, mm -hmm. this, is, this is good. This is nice. So let's see if we can pull that out so that Dave can show you. It's a very nice, very thin batting. This is going to be great for a lot of things. I can see wall hangings. I can see, um, of course, your twin and qu qu uh, queen size bats. And I, am th I can buy it by the roll. If we like this... I can buy this by the roll, and then you can get exactly the pieces you need. So this, I can see great for bags. I can see it great for a lot of things. So let's see what we think about this, guys. And um, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be great to support a, a United States business that's doing everything in our country? Yep. I think that's pretty fabulous. So let's do that. But I'm very excited about this one. So... These, um, this is a queen size bat, so we expect it to be a little bigger, but I do want to point out something to you. So look at the size difference between this one and that one. <laughs> okay, the reason why this is so big is because this is what's called a double loft, wait a minute, it's called a double extra loft. Yeah. Look how thick this is. This is really, really cool. I am so excited to use this. Absolutely. I want to see what it does. Now, this one is 100% cotton. I'm a, let me double check myself here. I'm pretty sure this is... Why didn't they note that on here? That's not helpful, guys. 100%, yes, 100% cotton. There is no polyester in this one. So, you are going to be... To, to the quilting needs to be a little closer together. Eight inches apart though, that's mm -hmm. not that far away. So um, that is not that close. You do not have to do, but I cannot wait to try this out. Um, when you lift this up, it is a little heavy. 
but think about how cool is this going to be when you make a gorgeous quilt out of this. It will be. Oh. I think it's going to be fabulous. I, I haven't know. had a chance. We've had a few things going on with the long arm, um, doing some stuff for some uh, some things that, that we've we've got in the process right now. Like uh, the shop hop quilt is going to be the next thing uh -huh. on the long arm. So up. I've got to get that done. As soon as I get that done, then we are going to find a specific project to do with this. I'm working on that in my head. So Good place to have it. We're, we're going to do that. So this is very, very cool, guys. I think you will really like it. I'm hoping that this will be something fun and different for you. So I always try to find the different stuff. It's good. So, all right. Let's go ahead and hit on our stoff knits because I promised you guys I was going to do stoff knits. And these stoff knits are so beautiful. So we are talking the... Ooh. The, these are our cotton jerseys. They, these they're feel great. Yes, they do. They feel wonderful. So what we're talking about here is 95% cotton, 5% lycra. They have a really great drape. They do not tend to cling to us where we don't want them to cling. <laughs> so this is black and gray. Then we have this wonderful red that has gray stripes on it. It is really pretty. It makes the red... It takes the brightness away from the red a little bit, so it's not so overpowering. It kind of reminds me of a brick red once they did this. I love this color. It's really, really pretty. Uh, I am just going to tell you guys, everybody in the shop when they saw this one has said they want a piece of it. So we better order it really quickly because I think it's going to go super fast. It is stunning. I had people think it looked like a woven. It was very beautiful. And oh, feels really it, great. they feel so nice, guys. And they don't pill. They do not pill. I love that about our stuff knits. So these are going to be in our latest arrivals on the website, universityofsewing.com. And you will be able to order them online. They're available today. So, and then this last one I want to show you, because I just got four to, this is very recent that these came in, and this one is in, it's got gray taupe, um, a lighter gray, a, a medium gray, a light gray, a taupe color in there. The taupe's very subtle, and... I think this print is fantastic. I really like this. I It makes me want to make a dress, actually. It's really fun. So, but you know what? I probably will make, I, you guys have probably seen it. I now have a cow neck. Uh, it's sleeveless, but it's got like little cap sleeves oh, on it. Uh -huh. And I've got it in a blue French terry. But I think this might be really fun out that of that. That will be fun so. out of that. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. So I want to know what you guys do with it. I want to see what you do. So, okay. All right. So we've got these great new knits that just came in. Is there anything about this box on There's the table? a thing about the box in the table. So the box looks like it should be like for a long arm or maybe for an 830. Who knows? But it's not either of those things. And if you were with us yesterday, you probably saw this. But if you weren't, I'm going to tell you that Aaron, who is our technician, he just got back from visiting his wife. Now, he married a beautiful Pakistani woman, Sonia. And her family, and the reason he met her is because he was doing a mission trip. Mm -hmm. And when he was doing this mission trip, he met her in Pakistan, because everybody goes on a mission trip to Pakistan. Well, you probably would not have any idea about this. I know I didn't. In Pakistan, the Christians are very much a second-class citizen. Yeah. And they're not treated very well. And they have to pay, f well, I mean, I, I don't think this is unusual in Pakistan. I think everybody has to do this. They have to pay for their education. They have to pay for their medical care. Everything is, um, it's a really different society than here. And 
um, their average income in Pakistan, did I understand you, Dave, correctly, that we're talking... Like, if you have a fairly good job, like in manufacturing, from 150 to $250 a month. 150 to $250 a month, guys. That is if you have, have a, a good, good job. job. If you have a good job. So, what happens a lot of times is the people get into really big trouble if there's a medical emergency or something like that, and they get into debt, if they get into debt, then they will actually throw them in prison. Oh, yeah, debtor's prison. Debtor's prison. And so what happens is then the family, they'll, they'll throw the husband into debtor's prison, and then the mom and the kids are left to kind of fend for themselves. It is not great. So what we, when we were talking, I, I was talking to Sonia about this and what was going on, and one of the things that we realized is that a lot of these women don't really have any kind of skills. Well, they're supposed to yeah. help, you know, take care of their family now. And they don't really, I mean, they can cook and they can clean, but they don't, I mean, this is like about the extent of their skills. And so what we thought is if we teach them how to sew, then maybe they could help their family with doing sewing work for outside of their family. And even if they couldn't do it just there, just to help their own family, this would be, you know, instead of having to buy clothes and so forth, they could help with that. So what we did was we started a Pakistani sewing school. And um, they're sewing machines. They get, they when they graduate from this, and it's five months long, they actually mm -hmm. learn how to sew. They actually learn how to sew. They have to take some time to do this. You guys all know you didn't learn how to sew overnight. So they did this. I'm sorry. You, you didn't do it overnight. Neither did I. But they are now, the first group of women, there was 20 of them, are getting ready to graduate. They will get a sewing machine. That's yeah. part of the graduation. They will get a certificate. They will get a sewing machine. So when they get this and they do this, they, they will actually be able to hopefully help their families. But this isn't the only group of people that need this. When they put this out that they were doing this school, the first day that they announced this, they had over 50 people apply. Oh, I bet. So, and some of them came as far as two hours away. And they away. walked all the way. Yes, yes, it was crazy. So, we are getting ready to start the next group of people up, and we really need your help. Um, I put a lot of money towards this out of my own pocket the last time around, and I, I, can, I can only do so much. I'm only one person, and I can only do so much. And what I'm asking for you guys to do is if you will please consider, I mean, $20 in this situation goes so far. You know, it only costs like $8,000 to do this. Um, it pays for their rent. It pays for their teacher. It pays for the supplies. It pays for the machines. Mm -hmm. And the utilities. And it and, and that's it. And it's for 20 people to give them a skill and a possibility of doing something so that they will hopefully be able to now move from this kind of really desperate situation to that. So what Sonia sent me back when Erin and she met is she sent us back the cutest little tiny clothes I mean, it's just unbelievable, these little tiny clothes that they are making, and they're gorgeous. And, you know, the, the culture there, the clothing that the women wear are very different from ours. I know you're thinking, well, why not T-shirt and jeans? Because they don't wear T-shirt and jeans, guys. And so, we have the names of the people who actually did we this. We do. We have the names on here of who did them. And I have all these cool little samples, and I'm hoping that we'll find a way to display them here in the shop. But they are just lovely. And, I mean, this is so special, guys. Don't you want to be a part of something like this? It, it, will, it will really help. And so I'm, I'm hoping that we can do this a couple times a year. So this is my big push. For this, I we always have a box here at the shop that you can just drop a couple of dollars in that you can do. But if you wouldn't mind going on our GoFundMe page and just 
donating some money. Yesterday we had some of our customers do that. Thank you so much. I can't even begin to thank you enough because we are changing lives. And that isn't that isn't that what we want to do? We we I I complain about it all the time in the United States is that we do not give skills to people and then we give them handouts but we don't give them a way to get out of poverty. This is a way to get out of poverty. And, and they appreciate it. Oh, yes. look yes. at the pictures on the wall, the smiles yes. the and the joy. Oh, and, they're so and that's the biggest thing I think for me is I know that what we give and what we're doing is very appreciated by them. And they are so excited by this. Yes, and, and it's really something else, you know. Um, and it, it, to see this, I mean, you know, you come into our classroom and we have chairs and tables and electric sewing machines. They're sitting on the ground and they are sewing with a hand crank sewing machine. And they're grateful for it. And they're producing items like this. Yes, that's right. It, it's really something else, and it's really lovely. So I hope that you will find it in your heart to donate whatever you can. We are very grateful for all of you. We're grateful here in the shop to have you as part of our family. We're, and a lot of you, we did, we, we've, there's customers here that we've never met. Yes. You, you guys are in, in New York or you're in uh, Colorado or Washington and all these lovely places. And we only sometimes get to talk to you on the phone or we sometimes get to see your notes that you send us when you purchase things. Thank you for all of that. And I want you to know that anything in this regard that you can help us with the Pakistani Sewing School on GoFundMe, if you put in Pakistani Sewing School, it'll come up with the University of Sewing that we're sponsoring it and that this is there. And you, you can donate as little or as much as that you're comfortable with. And thank you so much. It's really appreciated. Well, guess who's watching? Who? Sonia. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> Everybody, I hope you have an incredibly wonderful day. We are supposed to have opened by now. Yes. So we don't have the front door open, so you might want to go there <laughs> and make will. sure it's open. <laughs> so everybody, have a great Saturday. It looks like it's sunny and bright here in Indiana. I hope it's sunny and bright where you are at. Have a lovely day, and we will see you next Friday for Facebook Live.